hey guys welcome to another video of aws um, s3 uh, where i'll be doing a demo of how um, you access an s3 from an ec2 instance um, using an im role um, so basically log in to your um, aws account and probably head over to the s3 bucket to create that temporary bucket um, so just click on create bucket um, so i'm going to create a bucket called my bucket um my bucket one two three uh something like one two three four five six okay i hope nobody else have already taken this um they will leave all the options default and create bucket uh should at least somebody have already taken this and um, two one two one five or some random number to create your bucket uh there you go um so you now have your s3 bucket um okay so what are we going to do now um go to your ec2 instance let's let's create an ec2 instance now yeah uh launch an instance um so my ec2 server yeah um let uh leave these default options uh leave t2 micro um create a key pair which is my ec2 key pair just click on create pair so you just download the file um and then go to network settings click on edit make sure you have your security group my c2 security group um to security group um all right um make sure you have this selected like anywhere because we will be connecting with ssh to our s uh, to our ec2 instance shortly um go to the advanced details click on instance profile uh but we do not have any im role for my ec2 to connect to the s3 uh, so for that reason what i'm going to do is go on create a new im profile um so create so i do not have any role at the moment so create role aw service ec2 um choose a service to view the use case s3 so i'm going to select s3 uh ec2 s3 yeah uh, click on next i'm going to use ec maybe i'm going to do s3 just hit enter so you make sure you give a, a, aws s3 full access yeah and then type ec2 hit enter and select ec2 full access yeah um okay now that you have selected two policies attach these policies to your role um click on next simply say my s3 role allow ec2 instance to call aw services on our behalf so make sure you have these options uh, make sure you have these policies in place um, name my s3 access yeah and click on create role um so now that we have created a role yeah um okay go ahead uh to your ec2 instance wherever you're creating um so now that you don't see it here just click on this refresh button you should be able to see the newly created my s3 role and leave everything default uh just check your options dc t2 micro my ec2 key pair security group ssh anywhere and then my s3 role and you're good to go click on launch instance so now that you have created your instances click on view instance it, it will probably take a minute to spin up this ec2 server so once you're ready uh, once the server is ready so what we're going to do is select this running ec2 server and click on connect and copy the um uh, copy the ssh command where you can connect to your ec2 instance from your terminal so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to um keep this aside and i'm going to bring my terminal uh into this uh window like so yeah um so i've i've downloaded the my um ec2 key pair so click um 
now that your EC2 instance is running, click on EC2 instance and go to connect like so. SSH client, click on SSH client. So you now have this command uh, where you need to run from your terminal, um, which I'm going to do it shortly. So before doing that, make sure you allow you you give the permissions to your key pair. Okay. Um, so for that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a command like chmod, which is change permissions. Yeah. Um, for hundred, um, I'm going to give my my EC two key pair. Yeah. So I'm, I've given a permission to my key pair. Uh, to connect to the um, using SSH. So I'm going to copy this command and just paste this command and hit enter and just type yes. And you should be able to connect to your EC2 instance. Yeah, this is your EC2 instance. Now you have connected to your EC2 instance. Yeah. Um, okay, so what are we going to do now? Um, so now let's head to our S3. Yeah, if you go to S3, uh, do we have a bucket already? Yes, we do. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to type some S3 commands, okay, and to make sure that um, I have my S3 um, listed here from my EC2. So uh, click Enter. So sure it is. So you have your my bucket, which is listed in your console, uh, in your EC2 instance, um, because you have given a role. Um, to your EC2, it is now able to list all the buckets that we have. Yeah, so just copy the bucket name. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a temporary file. So before that, go to your bucket and see there is no file uploaded yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a temporary file called touch test.txt file. Yeah, so I have a txt file. Now, I'm going to upload this file to my S3 bucket. Um, type command AWS S3 move um, test.txt. Yeah. And then where do you want to move it? To your S3 bucket, like so. Yeah. Just hit enter. Yeah. There you go. So now your file has been moved from your local EC2 instance to an S3. Yeah um come back to s3 uh console just click on refresh um you should be able to see the file that we, we have just uploaded sure it is so we have now uploaded txt dot um, text to s3 from an ec2 instance by assigning it a s3 role now you can also list um on your cli um uh, using a command aws s3 ls and then s3 and just type your bucket name ah i already have copied this just remove the file um so now it should be good click on enter and there you go now you can see your test.tsx txt file uh, which is now uploaded to the uh, s3 bucket uh, you can you can create um, another files like uh, touch my um test one dot txt um touch t test two dot txt so i've created two files now i will run the same command again to move the files from my local to s3 um, test one and test two there you go um so now i've moved these files to my bucket uh, just click on refresh um yeah there you go so now you have uploaded your files uh, to the S3 bucket from the AWS CLI using a EC2 um, role, uh, using AC2 uh, IAM role, right? Uh, I hope this gives a, a, a good idea on how to create a um, uh, access um, access tunnel from from your EC2 instance SSH to your S3 and upload the files that you needed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, if you like it, thank you so much for watching and we will um, uh, come back again with a few more videos on, on S3. I'll continue with the series. Thank you so much, guys.